welcome everyone. Today I have a maniology haul to share with you. So we'll be looking at everything that I received from them, stamping plates and polishes, stamping polishes, and another item. So there's a whole bunch of stamping plates we're going to look at. These are new releases from them. So I wanted to share a few of these with you. I love their stamping plates, their polishes. If I was to recommend any stamping polishes or plates, it would be from Maniology. They have amazing polishes and plates and you can't go wrong by buying any of them. But these are some new releases and we're going to take a look at them today and I will be working on a client's nails and we'll be using a few of these polishes or plates not sure yet but if you're interested in seeing that that'll be at the end of the video after I share everything so let's get started so I will start off by sharing the stamping plates there's six of them I love the packaging from Maniology it's always really cute and on the back of them, they always tell you how to stamp, exactly how to do it so you can pick up the image the best way. So I chose this stamping plate because I really like the designs. This could be used for New Year's, for birthday parties, for a holiday a celebration, an anniversary, anything like that, even Valentine's Day. Because as you can see here, there's some hearts. I just thought it was really cute. I don't have anything like it, but I, I really do like this one. I don't know about you, but I love Paisley print and this, when I saw it, I had to have it. It is so cute. Like look at the Paisley print. There's a whole bunch of different ones, even a smaller Paisley on that one. I just love the design on this one and yeah Paisley is one of my favorite prints I'd have to say so this was definitely something I had to have so sometimes with a beginner I struggle with doing French nails myself I have no problems but this may speed it up even faster and I'm going to stamp with these designs so there's definitely like you could do a, a thinner uh, French or you could get into thicker and I love that it has like the hearts and the stars and the little clouds. This little design's really cute as well. So I thought I'd try it out and see if it's gonna speed up my time on doing a French manicure on nails. Like with my hard gels, I usually use a polish, but we're gonna try this. So this stamping plate I thought was adorable as well. And I loved it for the bows, so many different bows. And these are kind of like a, almost like a party celebration too, the designs. I don't know, I don't know what else you'd call them, but they're really cute and I like all of the kind of the shoe designs with the bows. It's a really cute plate if you don't have any bows. You could use this at Christmas. You could use them for pretty much any time of the year, but I really like it. So I saw this one and I thought I'm gonna give it a try because it is a lot of lace patterns. And just really nice lace patterns, like that one, like that one, just really pretty, right? If you don't have a lace plate, this one's really cute. And I have one more plate to share with you. Now, if you like tie-dye anything, well, this is the perfect plate for that. And sometimes tie-dye can be a little tricky to do on nails. Well, I thought I'd get this because I don't have anything like it. And we could do some really cute tie-dye designs. So moving on to the polishes. Now, this wasn't a new color. This is a white. It is called... Bam White. I just didn't have a white in the Maniology polish and their stamping polish is my favorite. You can use it as a full color if you're using polishes or you can use it as a stamping polish, but I love the drying time on these. They're not too fast, but they're not too slow. So it makes for the perfect stamping polish. Now this one is a new release and it is so, so pretty called Winterberry and I'm just going to swatch it quick because they are really nice. Most 
beautiful red. It almost looks like it's chrome. It's so pretty and shimmery. beautiful just a nice perfect red for valentine's day so maniology has perfect trios and this one happens to be all different shades of pink and you can purchase them just like this and they're a limited edition perfect trio and let's take a look and see the colors so they're packaged really nice in these, so they're not going to break in the packaging. So we'll start with the lightest first. We'll swatch it, and I'll move to the darkest. And you can do a swatch up here. So if they're in a drawer, then you know what color you have, and it shows you what it looks like on white then and on black. So this one is called Blossom. So I'll just grab a swatch stick. Really pretty pink. And this one, of course, the swatching on the top is called Pumps. could let it dry and do a second coat but you can tell the color it's really nice a really nice pink and the last one is I'm not sure I don't want to butcher it quasar maybe but yeah a nice color much deeper really pretty I'll show you the first one I swatched the red and this deep deep pink and you can see the difference so here's the first one and here's this one this one is definitely different than this one this one's more shimmery both really nice though so I did the second coat off camera on the ones that needed it so I'm gonna let it dry we'll look at the last thing I received from Maniology So they came out with these cute little keychains. I'll open it up to show you better. So how adorable is that? So if you shake it up, it's like a glitter polish. Little hearts are in it. My goodness, it's just so cute. And it's pink. Pink is my favorite. And there's the key part of it it's gold and it has the extra for attaching keys and i like the little pearl on there so so adorable so all of these products just so you guys know you can uh, find them down in the description of this video and you can see my 10 percent off code up on the screen so if you're wanting to find any of these polishes or stamping plates or the keychain just look down under products in video and you will find the links to them. So I'm going to grab all of the polish colors and show you them all together so you can see the difference. 
So there's the polishes. Aren't they pretty? I managed to catch one of the pinks, as you can see with my finger when I put it down. So ignore that. But they are really nice colors for Valentine's Day. I think they will get used a lot. So now we're going to move on to doing my client's nails with some of these polishes and some of the stamping plates. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just stick around. To start with, I am doing the fill on my client and I'm not gonna show you the process of all the steps in order to do this. And this is hard gel I'm using. Now this builder happens to have color to it. So it's more of a sheer kind of light pink builder I'm putting on the base because I will be using one of the plates that'll be the French. So I want to have some color up on the rest of the nail because they'll just be stamping the actual French design on these ones. So the other nails that I cover fully, I just do my clear builder and the ones that I will be doing the tips on, they're getting this really nice sheer pink color that I just love using. If you wanna know what that is, I'll let you know, but I'm not gonna put it in the description of this video. I will put all the other products down there from Maniology, just not this one. So this is the plate, of course, you saw it at the beginning. I really wanted to try this. If this is gonna make it really quick to do French, I'm, I'm definitely wanting to see if it will. So I grabbed the color from the haul and I'm using it. It's called, I think you pronounce it Quasar. It was the darkest pink in the trio kit that I showed you. So I know I have a lot of people struggling with stamping that send me messages or put it in the comments of the videos. It's really about the angle of the scraping and the rolling of the stamper that makes for a good pickup and transfer. I could have used Maniology's stampers. They're really good too. Sorry, Maniology. It's just I grabbed the first one out of my drawer and it happened to be this one. But if you're looking for good stampers, they have really good ones as well that pick up nicely. So with this type of image, it has a wider surface so you got to go down on your angle a little more just so you don't remove any of that color on all of that surface and then I always roll it the same it's just a soft roll I think some people roll too hard sometimes and it just doesn't pick up and transfer and when you're transferring to it's in the rolling of the stamper too just to get it on the nail fully and so you get great coverage with it uh, so if you have any other questions about stamping let me know or i can do another video on stamping because i've gotten really good at it but i've just had a lot of practice so i figured it out it is tricky but once you get the hang of it it's really really nice to be able to stamp because you get such great images that have such great detail and it's really quick so as you saw, I stamped two nails on each hand with the French and wow, that was really quick. And as I do it more, I'll even get better at the French design with the stamping. And I think I may be doing that from now on. I loved it. So anyways, now we're doing a full image. This is one of the other plates they gave me in the haul. And this has got a nice Valentine's heart design on it. So we're going with the Valentine's theme. The polishes are perfect for that, the color, and then this uh, image is so cute. Wait till you see it on. I love this image. And again, you saw how I picked up the image. I scraped it. I rolled it on her nail and it transferred so nice. So I'm going to do something a little different. So this is the same stamping polish and I'm using it as full color. And with hard gels, you can use these type of polishes. You don't need to necessarily use color gels or gel polishes. These work, but the trick with these you have to fully make sure they're dry before you apply a top coat, a gel top coat, and you'll have no issues with chipping or anything. So I did that and it's drying. And by the time I get to the top coat, it will be fully dried and ready to go over. And I'll have no issues with this client with her nails. So on the pinky, we wanted to add some glitter. So I had some really pretty glitter that's going to go really nicely with that polish color. So I applied a base coat and I didn't cure it. And now just sprinkling in that really, really nice glitter. And I'm just pushing it down so it'll be easier to cover up with my thicker top coat once it cures. And once I get that done and pushed down, it'll cure for 60 seconds. So after that glitter cured, I am just going to take a brush and get rid of any extra glitter. And then I'm going to start top coating all of the nails so you can see what type of top coat I use. And when I go for the glitter at first, I do a thin top coat, cure it, and then I apply my thicker top coat. 
And so when I'm going over all of the stamping and the color, I'm using my thicker hard gel top coat. It's my favorite. I just find I have no problems with anybody's nails when I'm using this type of top coat. I prefer it over the thinner ones. And then if I feel a nail isn't perfect, I can make it look perfect. I can fill any indents or anything in. And yeah, now that this color is fully dry, I can go over it, no problem. I just wanna cap the edges and I gotta make sure everything's covered up because really important because if you wipe it away later and you've missed something on the edges, it's gonna wipe off. So make sure you fully cap all of the edges and you'll have no issues there either. If you're looking for a top coat that isn't hard gel, you can find on Maniology site, they have top coats that are made just for polishes. If you're just gonna do polishes on the natural nail and they're really good too. So I will just let you watch me finish top coating this nail and then I'll show you the finished nails right away. So I was really loving the polish color. My client did too. It's such a cute set. I love this set, how it turned out. I love the stamping plates. I highly recommend them. The French one was amazing. All of them are great stamping plates, new releases. And I want to thank Maniology for sending me everything to share with you. Loved all of it. Thanks so much. And thanks everybody for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. It'll help my channel and make a comment. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see everybody in the next one.